Have you ever heard the term, the fortune is in the follow-up? Well, you might have. That's something that's very popular, but what does it mean? And how do we follow up? And when? And with what kind of medium? Lots of questions on follow-up. Let's dive in. Hey guys, I'm Matt Wallach, and I help software companies and software leaders close more deals so they can scale their company and achieve a better valuation. If you want to close more deals, make sure you are subscribed to this show. Hit that subscribe button right now and the little bell next to it so you get notified every time I come out with a new cool video with tips and tricks to help you scale, to help you close more deals. Now, one of the things I want to talk about is follow-up. It's something that I don't talk about enough, but it's super, super important. We talk a lot about demos. We talk a lot about how you're going to be able to get more customers on board. We talk a lot about how you're going to be able to create a better process. But part of that is the follow-up. What do we do after we've given our demo? What do we do after we've kind of laid it all out there and said, here you go, let's get you going? What happens? And that's something that a lot of people don't quite have a system set for and don't quite do well. In fact, more than half of people selling software do not follow up. That's pretty big. More than half of people selling don't follow up. Why is it important? Well, let me tell you. Studies have shown that most deals close from the fifth follow-up and on. So listen to that. Most people are not following up, but most deals are closing from the fifth follow-up on. That means a small percentage of people who are actually following up enough are getting the most deals. They're the ones who are winning and earning most of the deals. So what does that tell us? We need to follow up. I'll give you a story. I do sales process audits for a lot of my clients. They hire me, I come in and I review each of their sales reps to kind of see which ones are doing well, which ones are not. And I look at all of it. We look at before the call, we look at during the call, what's happening on that demo and how good are they? And we look at after the call, what do they do to follow up, to try and win the business? We look at all of this with a fine tooth comb. Now, I will tell you that a big part of this is the demo. You've got to have great demos. And if you want great demos, by the way, definitely hit this video right here. You'll be able to learn how to have an amazing software demo. But that's just part of the equation. After the demo and what you do following up is important. So with one of these clients that I was doing this sales process audit on, all of the reps were pretty okay at demos. There were definitely some improvement needed. There was definitely some things I showed them so they could improve, but they were all about the same, pretty average. Guess who was winning? The person who had the most follow-ups closed twice as many deals as the other ones. So even though the demos were all about the same, they're all about the same average, the one who was following up closed twice as many deals. So that is a big time revelation. Make sure you're following up. Now, how? First of all, one of the ways to do it right after the demo is send them a recap. I call it a demo recap email. Send them an email that explains a little bit about what you talked about. Hey, really love talking to you. Just a recap. You mentioned you're struggling with this, bang, and this, and this. And I showed you how the system is going to do this, and this, and this to solve those problems. Okay, right there, it's super easy. Then give them the next steps. Next, we're gonna do this, and next is this. So you're taking the lead, you're in control, and you're making things happen. So right away, you got a recap. Then what you want to do is start to mix, do some multi-channel mixing. So email, calls, video messages, not enough people are using video messages, make sure you are. Texts, you should be texting your clients. You should be texting them during the process. No, do not text them with your phone. If you want to text them, use a texting solution so you can do it within a system. That way, if anything happens, someone else can come in and pick up the conversation. If one of your reps leaves, you'll be able to have somebody else take over. You'll also be able to monitor it. You'll be able to coach and it's all secure. So you want a texting application. By the way, if you want a texting application, RingBot is one I'm affiliated with. Definitely check that one out because RingBot can deliver a lot of amazing texting capabilities for your business. It's a, there's a link down below, so make sure you hit that. But mix it up, multi-channel follow-ups. So you're getting them from different ways. Send them a LinkedIn message, send them a Twitter DM. All of those are important. And then what you need is at least, at least 12 contact points in that follow-up sequence, at least 12 touch points. Can I say at least, because that should be the bare minimum. Don't do minimum, do more than that. I've had so many sales reps that have said, Matt, I can't believe it. On the 13th touch point, they finally replied and we closed them. On the 16th, on the 11th, on the 12th. And all these times they're so blown away, even though I told them it will happen. So take the advice, set up a sequence, automate as much as you can, but you also want to throw some personalization in there and follow up. After the demo, make sure you get your value for that demo. Follow up, continue to stay in 
front of them. Remember, their priorities change. They've got other things that they're thinking about after they get off the call with you. So make sure that you keep this a top priority. And if you can do that, if you can follow up and stay in front of them, you are going to close more deals as well. Now, if you like this, hit that like button. That shows me this is good stuff and helps you. Also throw a comment down below. If you liked it, give me a comment. I love hearing that when you guys say, hey, Matt, great video. That's super awesome. Thanks for doing that. Or if you have any questions, put that comment down there as well. I'll answer those questions for you. Get you some help. Once again, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you're going to get this stuff every week. You'll get help, you'll get advice, you'll get tips, and we'll get you scaling and closing more deals. I'm Matt Wallach. It's been a lot of fun. Take care. I'll see you.